Phil Cardinelli here t- with today's Radical Rundown. Uh, as you guys know, we take questions from time to time off the Facebook page and try to address them. Uh, today's was a really interesting question. It was how to handle transition and breakdown on a sports shot when you're used to the house shot. The answer sort of is in that question. You're not used to it, um, so it becomes a bigger problem than it may really be. Uh, the best way to learn it is to practice on it. Um, obviously, people that go to a house shot in practice, when transition happens, you either move deeper, get more oil, or you throw the ball further to the dry to get more hook. On a sports shot, that's probably not there. Um, a lot of times the transition happens on the sports shot because of the balls being thrown. Um, if it's a heavier sports shot, you know you got a lot more sanded balls going down the lane. Uh, The fronts begin to hook and the back ends begin to tighten up. Uh, One of the biggest problems, and this has always been an issue with, say, amateur bowlers or uh, casual tournament players versus the pros, their moves aren't drastic enough. They're subtle moves. Um, You know, you you had to make a move. The ball was going light, so you made a little subtle move, um, you know, and and you left a flat corner pin or you left a, a four pin. And by the third or fourth four pin, you're sitting there saying, I didn't make, make a big enough move. Well, that's half a game you, you've given up already. So the moves have to be more drastic. The zones have to change quicker. You know, if, if you keep an eye out of people around you. You know, to me, I've, I've always been an advocate of watching somebody else that's bowling well. You know, I know you can't watch a lot, but you can always sneak over and catch a shot or two and see where they're playing. Because if they're whacking them, there's a reason they are. Um, they're probably in a different zone than you are. Maybe they just throw it better than you. I don't know. That's, that's always got to be something that they have to look at. I don't throw it that way. I don't throw it that as, as well as they are. But go look at the zone. Go look at the equipment they're throwing. You know, they're using an aggressive ball, uh, pin placements. Anything that they're doing is, is to your advantage to help you make your move quicker. If you're behind the curve on this, you're going to be left in the dust with the tournament. Once that transition happens... You know, you could be going 210 or 220 on a tough condition, and then you hit the 140 game because, and every time I see it posted on the Internet, it's the same. Well, I missed the transition. Well, it's not a matter of missing it. It's a matter of not anticipating it. You know it's going to happen. So you have to learn that part of it. The other thing is a lot of the better bowlers can see it coming simply how the ball is going through the pins. You know, if they're barely getting the 10 out on shots they thought should have been high flush, they know transition is coming. The carry down is getting there. They're going to have to move. And it's not a two-in-one move. It could be an entire zone move. So don't be afraid to make big moves. The most important thing, and I'll tell you what it is, is go practice on, on, and just play a different part of the lane. You know, instead of playing a house shot up 10, go play the house shot around fourth arrow until you break it down. And then you'll see how the ball transition, when you needed to make that move, you know, you can't throw, don't throw it to the friction simply because you know it's there. Play the part of the lane that's more like a sports shot. And then break it down yourself. Use aggressive stuff. And just get a feel for how that ball is going through the pins. And you'll start to recognize what's better for you. That's today's Radical Rundown. Uh, comments, leave them below. We'd love to hear them. And we'll talk to you guys soon.